Hello, Cancerians. Welcome to your burning questions reading. This is taking a look at what we need to nurture. I hadn't done one of these readings for a while and I thought, you know what? What better time to dive in than now? So, yeah, and then here now, right? So, we're going to dive right in here. So, I would like to invite the angels, my guardian angels, my spirit guides, protectors, teachers, and their healing energy to this space. And I ask that it is a safe and brave space that allows for the fullest expression of our light, humanity, ascension, and healing. Okay, so let's dive right in here, Cancer. Let's see what where the, where the cards take us. What do my Cancerians need to nurture, Spirit? What do we need to nurture? Usually we have a good idea or an answer of some kind, of some variety as to what that is. But um, asking this question is really just to draw on the energy that's active right now to see how we can surf that in service to what we need to nurture. So let's see where we go here. Eight of Swords. This is kind of where you are now, I feel like. So maybe you're coming to this reading because you feel like you're in an Eight of Swords a little bit. Six of Pentacles is what we need to embrace. Knight of Cups. Mm. So immediately, Cancer, what I'm getting is that you're needing to embrace a more even exchange of things. So you could have been doing all the giving in, in a, a connection or a situation. Uh, and I think that what you need to nurture is a greater... Like you, it's almost like you were, this is the, to release, like, it's like you overgave. This strikes me as overgiving and it's kind of depleted your energy some, whoops. It's depleted your energy some and left you a little bit, not like running on, uh, maybe running on empty a little bit, running on empty, um, or just at least from a place of feeling like you need to be defensive a chunk of the time. Like this, when you get into this five of wands energy, this can be conflict. But when we come at things with this mentality, the reason is usually connected to some kind of imbalance number one but it's because we're not getting so we need to we approach things with this conflict energy um and and it's not that it doesn't serve like it's not that it serves no purpose um but i think it doesn't really refine the same things that we might expect because you know it depletes us more so it not only are we unsure but then we're like well is anyone in my corner like what what's the purpose of conflict right what's the purpose of conflict um, cause it, it does have a purpose usually. Like if you ask someone and like, if there is a conflict or a fight of some kind, the resolution and the process to, to that resolution, um, that there's a purpose to it, right? So you can refine boundaries. You can, you know, connect deeper. Don't use conflict as the way to cultivate emotional intimacy though, cause that's its own trap. But this is about like, what's the purpose of conflict in your connections? What's the purpose of it around you, right? Is it being resolved, and are you the one doing all the work to do it, Cancer? Because I get the impression that you kind of might be. And this is possibly a better, this is like, I'm getting big, uh, a big call to nurture some boundaries here. Uh, some boundaries. There may be situations where it's tough to cultivate boundaries, but I think that um, at the very least, there's ways you can communicate uh, what you need through uh, you, where you can communicate what you need and that connects you to boundaries by proxy like it just connects you to boundaries by proxy if that makes sense because like let's say you're over giving to a situation or a person or a, you know a project or whatever you could sit down with a partner or um, a friend let's say partner so you could sit down with a partner and say you know I'm finding that I'm doing a lot of x y and z and I don't mind doing it but I'm feeling depleted and I know that there's more reasons to that uh, or for that than just this but I'm wondering if there's a way that we can just share some of these like this is if you're living together okay like um, you know I'm thinking about even conversations that um, some of my friends have told me about that they've had right with their partners so it's like um, I don't know like household duties is a very common one right like I need an even I need an even keel like I need an even split with things to be able to work things out and talk through them 
four, four, four on the time. So like I need that in order to function because this isn't getting done and that's not getting done. And I'm feeling really empty and I have to take ownership of how I feel. But I know that if this one thing happened, it would have this domino effect. And I'm just wondering if I could get help with that. Right. And you don't have to jump through hoops. Like sometimes it's just as easy as saying like, um, you know, conversations my roommates and I have like, hey, can you take out the garbage this time? Hey, can um, you do the, you know, there's, we, we have a Roomba, so vacuuming isn't a thing, but like, um, you know, can, can we split that? It's just, it's like, I'm seeing that there's just like some things can be solved really easily with a conversation for you right now, cancer, like just a, a basic conversation. But for some reason, it's like you feel petrified of it, or there's like a way that you're like, Whoa, I can't do that. Like it's, it's, it's uncertainty. Maybe you feel like there's too much time that it would take or like you've invested too much. Like, you know, when you're like so stubborn and you're like, well, now I'm just here. Like, it reminds me of the memes that I've seen of when, um, yeah, there's, <laughs> uh, the good news is that you are taking steps to leave this behind. Oh my goodness. I'm going to put these down because that's repeating energy for sure. Um, that was the, uh, eight of cups and the five of wands. Um, I'm just getting the image of like the memes where people would have cats and they fall asleep on them. And they're like, well, I, I'm just going to die here now <laughs> like because they don't want to move. Right. So it's like that kind of energy where you're like, well, I'm just I'm I this is how it is now. I'm invested. I'm set. And so you're kind of feeling stuck in that way. And it could just be that like eventually like I feel like there's there is this sort of a leaving behind. It could just be nurturing space for yourself, nurturing space for yourself so that you have time to reflect. And then you also have time to take action that's meaningful based on, um, I think meaningful because of the eclipse is here to do with Taurus and Scorpio. So it's like action that's meaningful taken over time or undertaken over time. Um, that kind of reduces conflict, reduces conflict. But also, um, I feel like this is like a reduction of conflict. It's like a de-escalation here. De-escalation. Yeah, two of cups and seven of wands. This is like a de-escalation of conflict. I'm going to put that down because that's, yeah. It's like a de-escalation of conflict and meeting someone halfway. So I feel like you will be met halfway. That's kind of what you need to know right now. But in terms of resolving the conflict long term, let's see where this goes here in terms of what you've got to nurture. So we're embracing and even giving um, things that we're passionate about, that we feel passionate about. Uh, but also, you know, you have so much more energy when you stop over giving to give to things that, that just, you know, fire you up, that you're super passionate about, that you're really excited for, that make you rock it out of bed in the morning going, yes, I have to, like, you put your feet on the floor and you're like, mm-hmm, it's time, it's go time, right? And not every day is going to be like that, no, but like the majority of the time, you can be excited for what you do right? You can be excited for what you do. Six of pentacles, king of wands. Let's see what else we've got here. Ten of pentacles. Huh. Yeah, I feel like this is like embracing investing in yourself. Because the thing is, the funny part is that when we invest in ourselves, we end up investing in future and we end up investing in partner. We end up investing in friend. We end up investing in family, right? We end up doing that because we're planting seeds that allow us to cultivate our own garden. And it's not just about like, I'm going to put the oxygen mask on because that implies crisis, right? It's not about putting the oxygen mask on. It's about just good boundaries, good boundaries and saying, no, this is what I can give and this is what I cannot because I want to have energy for the long run. And I know that based on X, Y, and Z things, I don't know that I'm going to be able to do that, but you can have, you know, a ton of all of this energy, you know, after this thing or that thing. And, and it's like, it's, it's just meeting, being met and meeting others halfway. The King of Cups energy here comes across to me as someone who might meet you halfway, Cancer, but this could also be your energy. It could be that there's a fire sign that is teaching you that or that is coming in in that capacity. This can also be uh, fire or sorry, I'm seeing fire and water, which is having me think Scorpio um, because I, yeah, so it's like... Um, it could be individual, like it could be that you're embodying fire energy and this person is water energy um, and whatnot. But it could be that that's just the energy that you're cultivating within yourself, Cancer. You could have Scorpio in your chart somewhere too. That could be possible as well. Hmm. 
Hmm. Three of Swords came out, which I think like maybe this, maybe it was like a bit of, let me pull another one here to clarify. Because there's two stories coming out here. I feel like one of them is that you were betrayed before when it came to articulating what you needed. So there's like this hesitation. Uh, I almost get this as being hesitant to share your feelings, but that you really need to. So that's storyline number one. Storyline number two um, is that this is sort of because um, it came out in reverse. Um, I don't typically read reversals, but the way the energy came out was that it's it's like a letting go, like you're releasing pain. Ten of cups on the bottom. Yeah, you're releasing this pain and moving towards something more stable and solid, like a solid commitment, not just in relationship. It could be because the ten of uh, ten of pentacles and ten of cups and the four of wands and the two of cups are here. Very possibly relationship oriented here. Um, but I'm just seeing that you're leaving behind this sort of um, assumption that you made about how important your needs were to other people. Because like if we're used to people not listening to our needs, we can just assume that they don't care when they might care really deeply, but we just aren't used to people giving a damn, right? So we operate on under assumptions. And then when people come in to disabuse us of those assumptions, we don't trust it because we, <laughs> Ace of Cups, we don't trust it because we don't have enough information in our memory, in our, you know, like our um, memory bank to tell us that this is how it is. So this is like releasing this sort of hesitation and belief that like it's not possible and it's leaning towards and, and acquiring more information in order to establish a, a memory bank where one may not have existed before. Yeah, it is a leap. Like it's a bit of a leap, but it's towards something that um, is going to help us feel much more stable. Whoa. Oh my goodness. I'm really glad that shuffle was so clunky. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. Five of Wands, the star. Eight of Swords. Five of Swords. Nine of Cups temperance oh and the hermit doing okay so um i think that this kind of conflict approach it's like you're prioritizing yourself and a bit of your healing and really like this is kind of the story of how you got caught in your head a little bit right is like um i know it's aquarian energy but i almost get that you couldn't see your own light because the star is like a light that shines for others to see as much as the hermit is, which is also here too, right? So it's almost like this light, this like, this is like the a conflict resolution. But I think that there's a conflict within you that started to get projected outwards cancer. And I think that it started with not necessarily having good boundaries because you weren't really sure that you deserved it. Um, and then the five of swords here is that like winning um, to prove that you deserved it. <laughs> Right. It's like winning to prove that that you were worthy of it when all you needed to do was just ask for it and know that you deserved it fundamentally. And that's the wisdom that you're walking away with now. So it's cultivating and nurturing that sense of um, that sense of deserving like that, that you you are worth um, you are worth things that are clear. You are worth balance. You are worth, uh, you know, the hermit is like, I want to say the hermit is a long-term investment, but it's like a long-term investment in self. That's wisdom that comes from a long-term investment in self and not in a way that's self-centered and negating of relationships or boundaries or people. It's not deleterious to healthy relationships. Mm -hmm. This is like going on internal journeys and doing the work and coming out the other side with this wisdom to share with others. Um, so I think this is really about cancer. You're getting better boundaries and that's freaking awesome. Like, that's amazing. That's especially in the context of a lot of the cards here. Like there's, I think it's, it's almost like what I'm getting is that there's something on the other side of the, the, the boundaries that is really rewarding for you. Like 10 of pentacles, 10 of cups, four of wands, two of cups, the fool, ace of cups. 
Like the, these are cards to me that when they're in this kind of reading around this kind of topic, it's giving me this storyline that that's really what's waiting for you on the other side of it. And don't engage in it and do the thing because you're going to get the 10 of like, you're not going to get like, don't do it for the stability because that's not what that's for. That's the byproduct of the journey that you take, right? That's the balance that comes as a result of the journey that you take. Not like, you know, the gumball that you get because you put the quarter in the machine. Everyone is doing their best. Yeah. And that's that conflict piece too, right? And this like includes you. Like everyone's doing their best, including you. Because if your vision of that, if your vision of compassion and empathy does not also include yourself, it is incomplete. It is not complete, Cancer. Mm -mm. It's not complete. So it's like remembering to turn that towards yourself as well, right? Karma is on your side. Yeah, I feel I felt some of the wheel here. Um, yeah. So I feel like whatever's, this is a, just a reminder that like the, whatever it is that's unfolding right now with these boundaries, cause these are some conflict laden cards, but I feel like the release is significant. Um, with the Knight of Cups here in this sort of release position, you may find that you just maybe need a good cry, Cancer. Maybe you need a good cry. Uh, I sometimes do. I'll have some kind of day or I, when I get mad, I, you know, with the Gemini in my chart and the Aquarius as well, like I want to, I, I want, I have so many words for things, but it's, it's like you feel reduced because all you can say of the thing is that hurts and that, that hurts, right? Because then that's like such a vulnerable making thing because you, you don't have any verbiage to really articulate a ton more. You don't have verbiage to articulate a ton more. And I think it's, um, I think the important part here is to know that um, it's it's okay to just have those releases, right? That's it's coming to mind for me in the way that I deal with that kind of thing, um, because it, it sometimes you just need the cry, and that is enough to help pers to help shift your perspective, right? That is enough to help shift the shift the tide, change things a little bit for yourself. I, th I make time to recharge my battery. The world needs my energetic light. Yeah, that's a lot of the hermit energy as well as um, that star energy too, right? Like it's it's refilling your cup, the ace of cups. Like it's reminding yourself that your cup matters too. I trust that my gut reaction is the truth underneath the surface of my fears. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of trust here. And, you know, trust is part of healing processes, right? Trust is, that's just kind of how it rolls. Um, that's how it rolls. I don't know. Um, but I feel like when it comes to boundaries and things like that, you have to believe that you deserve it first. And then you also have to kind of go through the things that get you to the place where boundaries become like a, Ooh, I need them, right? Like if you're at that point more often than you are just saying, no, thank you. Sure. Uh, that doesn't work for me. No, I'm good. Thank you though. Um, you know, like if you're, if you're not in that place of, um, you know, just this everyday dance of boundaries and you need them like in this constricted moment where you're like, Woo! like it doesn't feel great. So there's like an imbalance, right? So this gut reaction is something that you need to trust more. Cancer is what I'm getting. Um, so cancer, that is your reading for, that's your burning questions reading. <laughs> that's your burning question reading. Um, if this resonated, please like, and subscribe. It helps me to grow the channel and I really love having you here. So thank you so much for that. Um, there are other ways you can connect with me on the channel as well. So I appreciate that too. Uh, but if this is where we part, I hope that wherever this finds you on the time space continuum morning, afternoon, or night, I hope that it finds you very, very well cancer. Take care and have a wonderful week. Mm -hmm.